Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're testing our Doom Dark Ages and we're testing the multi-frame generation of the RTX 5080. I see a lot of people saying it is really bad and yeah I wanted to test it and see maybe if those people were right or wrong. So yeah let's deep in, let's dive in it a bit, dive deep in it a bit and see what's up with actually multi-frame generation uh also i did a comparison with lossless scaling so yeah we're gonna compare the lossless scaling versus multi-frame generation times two times three and times four uh, in the first uh, half ish of the video i have everything on full speed for the people who want to see it at full speed and in the end, or actually in the later half of the video, I have some clips in slow motion to see yeah, what's up with that for the people who want to deep, uh, dive a bit deeper in it. Wow, I can't talk at the moment. Dive a bit deeper in it. Um, yeah, I have the slow motion clips actually and there is some interesting things about it for which one is better for me with the nvidia frame generations times two times three and times four at least in this game i didn't have any issues i played some games before like assassin's creed shadows where the lost the scaling and the nvidia frame generation times four were just unusable for me it i just didn't like it at all it was really laggy uh, it had input delay like a lot i could not block or parry any attacks in assassin's creed shadows uh, there was another game that i did with it which also didn't feel good but i can't remember at the moment which one it was but at least for doom I, I have zero issues with multi-frame generation, like legit, it just feels good. Uh, times 4 you start to notice a little bit of input lag, but uh, yeah, nothing too serious, uh, especially when you play with a controller, which I also tried, there was no problem for me playing it and dodging attacks. Uh, lossless scaling times 4. A big of a bigger, a bit of a bigger problem, and I didn't like it at all actually. Times two was very doable. You notice some input lag there, but times three you notice it a bit more, and times four, yeah, I would not recommend uh, playing this game with times four, at least from my testing. Of course, uh, something could have gone wrong which I highly doubt because I checked everything and did multiple recordings and yeah everything uh, was fine because it's the same settings I use in other games and of which I don't have any issues in this game I didn't have any issues with it it just didn't feel nice like here with the blocking with multi-frame generation I had like legit zero issues with mouse and keyboard with lossless scaling it felt a bit more laggy with the times four and the times three also like it is really annoying to play with but uh, yeah in general the multi-frame generation times two times three times four no issue at all and in a couple seconds you guys will see uh yeah some other clips from other areas uh this clip later on i have in slow motion where you can clearly see artifacting and specifically for the lossless scaling so this part we're going to talk a little bit about artifacting in short um, when you play it in full speed and even when you play it with multi-frame generation you don't see it at all with lossless scaling though even in full speed you do see it like a lot with the times two times three and times four That was not uh, a nice experience. Like it was really hard to time everything. Yeah, the times two was doable, but the input, uh, I mean the 
artifacts. Yeah, it was not fun at all to watch at those. So yeah, even here you will see the multi-frame gen times four with a like full speed how I play it because I don't play in slow motion. I didn't see any artifacts and with the lossless scaling I did see a lot of artifacts. With the turning I tried to do from one point to the other point to see yeah if it would uh, mess up my aim sort of uh, i thought i just put this uh, container thingy and a health pack and just go left and right with it and see uh, yeah what's up with it uh yeah times three times four and times two no issues at all but then comes lossless scaling yeah the times two was really doable times three and times four yeah, you just noticed, like, you have to focus really, really hard to get that nice aim. Like, here you see with the times 2, it is pretty doable. Times 3, it's a bit harder to not over aim or... Yeah. And with the times 4, it was really hard to do and really annoying to do. Uh, yeah, here's multi-frame times two and three so you guys can see the difference also like really nice and smooth and then decently smooth and again really nice and smooth honestly like i didn't have any issues at all with the uh, multi-frame gen times three and then we're going to the lossless scaling. Yeah, big issue. Like, I didn't like it at all. It didn't feel nice. And the times four was just horrible. For the multi-frame gen, again, no issue. I know a lot of people are hating on multi-frame generation. And yeah, some games I understand because it is unplayable. But with this game, it's amazing. The lossless, yeah, not so much. Not at all. So here's the... Slow motion, actually. For the multi-frame times 2. From NVIDIA. As you guys can see, like... Even in slow motion, you don't see any artifacting, ghosting with the times 2. With the times 3, even this goes, like, really smooth no weird shit going on it just works times four still works no issues at all but then lost the scaling yeah it, it has artifacting on all modes uh, you can see it in full speed and you can see it here clearly in slow-mo like it has a trail of the the flail in the end and the you also see that in full speed and sometimes when trying to hit enemies you hitting after effects or something with enemies i don't know it, it doesn't feel right i'm not hating on lossless uh, actually i love lossless scaling a lot in other games in this game it, it just didn't work that well yeah yeah you guys can also already see a difference with the times too like clean smooth less clean but still smooth and playable with the times two times three however is where it starts to be just unplayable and i didn't like it at all Yeah, like legit lossless scaling. I think it is the best app you can buy for like 5 euros or 7 dollars or wherever you live. It's a great app and it uh, helps a lot of people by preserving their old GPU and it will still works. With a minimum delay if you set it up correctly. Maybe the game is just too heavy, I don't know. But for this game, it just didn't feel right. But again, 
The game is uh, amazing, lossless scaling is amazing, but I really recommend frame generation in this game. So, if you guys liked the video, please subscribe, drop a comment, drop a like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.